Hey you, this is Jasim from Codeband and in this video I'm gonna be talking about user registration in Django. So if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so I have uploaded a separate video on how to log a user in and how to log out a user. So I'll put a link in the description section so that uh, if you want that sort of functionality, you can refer that and that's done uh, with just a few lines of code or I should say no lines of code and by, by leveraging the power of the default Django authentication system. So uh, if you're interested, you can of course watch that or otherwise just follow along. So in this one, we'll be talking about creating a new user. So what I have created so far is I have created a fresh Django project and I have activated my virtual environment. Now, uh, I have created a new application named Accounts. Now, uh, that's a kind of standard we use when dealing with the authentication. We'll put all of the logic in a separate app, uh, prefer preferably called as Accounts. Now, that's up to you. The name is up to you, but we, as a developer, use uh, such kind of convention. So, uh, uh, I have created that and ha I have uh, included it in the Accounts section and uh, what we are going to be doing is um, uh, unlike the uh, authentication views of the login logout and password management we don't have such view for the registration a default view for the registration but we do have a user creation form which we'll be using uh, for uh, registering a new user so uh, we'll start off with uh, basic url setup so uh, in the uh, root apps URLs, which means in, in the this URL, I'll create a new path so that uh, if something like accounts comes in, then we'll include the accounts uh, dot URL. So uh, if, if the path con contains accounts, then we'll also include the accounts applications URL. So we'll, we'll just import this include and uh, also uh, in the account section, I'll create a new file called urls.py. Now, in here, we'll just set up a path for uh, the uh, registration. So, from Django uh, dot URL, so I'll import uh, the uh, URL uh, the path, and we'll set a URL patterns is equal to a new path. We'll call this as register again. That's up to you, and we'll uh, put a a function based view now I'll be using a function based view but with class based with generic class based create view you can of course do the uh, the logic I'm doing with very few lines of code you can do absolutely in I believe uh, two or three lines of code everything will be done but we'll stick with function based views at, as it is more understandable to uh, a Django beginner and uh, we'll stick with that so uh, I'll just uh, name this uh, view as register view and I'll put an optional name argument to be register so just like that and uh, we'll in the views.py we'll create a new uh, function so a register underscore view which will receive the request argument now uh, in here now what we are going to be doing is in the get request we'll uh, render that uh, uh, a template with a form with the default user creation form that is being provided by Django so we don't have to actually write the logic of uh, uh, like uh, confirmation password like password one and password two is matching or not then we don't have to write logic of uh, identifying a specific user like uh, if the user is user is unique if the username is unique or not and we don't have to actually write those um, uh, uh, creating those user objects we don't have to write but instead we'll just use this form and we'll just save that form if the request is uh, post and if that form is valid so we'll start off with making a form variable and this is the user creation form is built into Django so uh, we'll just import that up at the top you can see this is that import statement now I'll just print this form so that it, it, you can see what all fields does it have. So 
uh, I have uh, migrated my uh, steps so uh, in your case you can just run Python manage .py migrate and after that I'll just run my server so before that I'll also create a new super user so that we can um, uh, refer uh, in, in the administration panel of what's going or going around so name views is not defined so that's because we haven't imported that view so from dot import views so I'll make a super user now so I'll name this as admin and some blunder values there password to be admin and I'll just bypass that validation there so that, that's perfect now I'll run the server so python manage dot on server and I'll just take that URL there and uh, we'll just go to slash um, I believe it's slash accounts slash uh, register so we'll go to register and you can see that in the in the console you can see that it printed out that form there so it has a username field and password and the uh, I believe there is also a password confirmation so three fields just the three fields now you might be wondering why uh, we don't have that email field and all but we'll do that we'll just refactor to uh, the, we'll just refactor that form to include the email first name and last name and all we'll just do that in a moment so uh, what uh, the person will seek with this basic form and we'll just render a request now I'll create uh, a new template for this one for the registration page so uh, in the accounts folder I'll create a templates folder and an accounts folder in that and in here I'll just say register.html and we'll just uh, create a simple boilerplate there with the register as title now in here we'll create a form uh, we don't actually need the action because the action should be the same page itself so we don't need to explicitly state that there but we'll stick with the method is equal to post and in here if it is post we need the CSR token and we we actually don't need any of these input fields instead we'll just render that form and we also need a submit button so input submit and the value to be something like register now with this one uh, in the views we'll just render this um, uh, template so account slash register.html with the context being uh, that form will just pass that user creation form there so just like that and if we refresh the page you'll get that tiny little form there now uh, we'll, we'll not be caring about the styling as it is out of the context of this video you can of course use Django crispy forms uh, for uh, quick styling or you can of course style uh, manually that's up to you now uh, what we are going to be doing is we'll make a little bit cleaner this one by saying form by rendering the form as paragraph so I'll just say SP so that it's much cleaner now these are sort of helpers that this form uh, by default have so uh, we don't have to actually uh, take care about this uh, password confirmation and uh, all these validations will be automatically done by the uh, uh, form itself the user creation form itself so uh, what we are now going to be doing is if we'll say if request dot method is equal to equal to post if it is post which means if the user click on this register button or if he submits the form then we'll uh, just rewrite the form to be uh, uh, the user creation form but with uh, uh, the argument with the data to be request.post so whatever the user entered will be in this request.post uh, dictionary so we'll pass that into the user creation form and now we'll just check if the user uh, if, if the form is valid which means it'll check all those um, uh, password validations and uh, the confirmations and all and the username a unique username validation and if it if everything is fine we'll just save that user so we'll say form.save and it'll automatically save that and we'll just return redirect we'll just redirect it to same page which means the register page itself so we'll uh, I'll, I'll just do the reverse so the name is register so I'll just say reverse of register so we'll just um, import uh, this sort of thing so uh, in order to uh, uh, understand what's going around now the imports are up at the top here now in order to understand what exactly happened I'll just say print successfully 
registered so that we can actually uh, see that output in the console so uh, with that being said now if I refresh the page and if I now uh, start to type in something like user I'll provide a password so if I click register there now it redirected back me to the same page now if you look into the console uh, up at the bottom you can uh, see that successfully registered now this should be registered so successfully registered so that's now working perfectly fine now uh, you can also go to the admin panel so if I go to the administration panel now I'll just log in that super user there Mm, I believe the password is just admin itself so if we look into the users there you can find that we have two users now this is the super user and this is the user we have created now uh, that's totally working now you can also find the validations now I'll just create uh, a new user with the same username so that you can of course see that validations there so uh, if we try to register that uh, CSR verification field now th that's because uh, 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 we are uh, we are logged into uh, the uh, admin panel there so we'll just close that and we'll just stick with this one and if we try to register it again we got that validation there is or with that username already exists now uh, you can also check the password validation uh, we'll just make these two passwords different so if I try to register the two passwords fields doesn't match and you can of course do something like the validations uh, if it is not eight characters you can uh, I'll put this as five characters each so if I register again you, you can see that the password is too common and password is too short now I the, the password I used was just admin itself so everything is working perfectly fine this is actually a working registration form now the possible fixes here would be uh, we don't have an email field here we don't have the first name last name field and all so we'll just make this form this user creation form we'll just tweak this one to include that email and first name field last name field and all so for that I'll just create a new uh, forms.py file in here so forms.py and we'll just uh, extend that user creation form and we'll implement our own a meta class there so uh, I'll just import from Django um, import the forms module now we'll create a new class uh, custom we'll, we'll say it as custom user uh, creation form uh, and we'll just extend that from the user creation form so so that we get that default username password and all those functionalities all those logic along with uh, we'll get uh, we'll implement that uh, sort of email and uh, those things those first name last name and all so we'll just uh, say like that we'll just import that up at the top and in here we'll just do our own meta class since it, since the uh, user creation form at the end is a model is a model form so we'll just say model is equal to user model now the user model is the default ma model that comes with Django so we'll just import that now the next thing is the field so uh, by default the fields are kind of like um, the username and the uh, password we need that password field now uh, the, uh, we do have password 1 and password 2 because we, we uh, do have password and password confirmation fields so I'll say just like that and uh, the next thing we need is the email so we can put that email there also we can name uh, our first name and last name so that everything is up and running so with this logic you know if we uh, render this custom user form instead of the regular user creation form so I'll just refactor this to be a custom user a creation form so we'll just import that in a moment so I'll just import that up at the top you can see that we have imported that now if we go to uh, the same page uh, I'll, I'll just uh, refresh this one you can see that we have username password password confirmation email first name and last name now uh, uh, if we uh, if you try to register a new user I'll just say this as a user user so provide a password and I'll uh, just say admin at admin.com admin admin so if I register that 
uh, you can see uh, the password is too similar to the email address now that's a sort of validation there I have provided the password to be admin admin so I'll just do one two three um, then code band uh, one two three so one two three code band one two three just a random password now if we try to register it again yeah we are redacted to the same page and up at the bottom you can see that we have successfully registered now if we look into the admin panel again uh, you can see that in the user section that user is created that uh, user user is created but now with these fields also with the first name last name and the email address in the earlier version we don't have those you can see that we don't have those three fields there so that's a possible workaround if you want to have those uh, kind of uh, username uh, sorry the email and first name last name so uh, there are plenty of other things you might be wondering about like the uh, uh, kind of uh, email confirmation if the user tries to tries to uh, register and a lot of other things as well so we'll cover all those things in a separate video in the future so uh, that's I believe the end of this session everything is perfect I believe so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please do let me know in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it so that's it guys thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one